Peace family, what's going on? So we back at y'all with another one. So this video is going to be titled The Angry Viking Wants to Be Grandmaster J Enemy. So let's talk about that. So during the interview with USA Today, uh, Grandmaster J was ambushed uh, when he put uh, when they put the Angry Viking on, he didn't know that they was going to put him on there. But the Angry Viking did. He knew because right after, if you go to the Angry Viking's YouTube page, right after the march in Louisville, when he started making videos afterwards, he was talk. He made a live stream. And he was talking about how he got a big um, support system and how he had a big following. You know, after the uh, his Patriots, his 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 Nationalists. I'm gonna call him that. Uh, marched and he was saying that even USA Today contacted him and want to do a debate with him and Grandmaster Jay. So he knew about it. Jay didn't, but Jay was a G about it and didn't say nothing. It was just trying to do it until they started talking and then, um. Jay was trying to, you know, say his 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 piece, and then uh, the interviewer was asking, you know, uh, he he asked the angry Viking, you know, do you understand that? Do you support that or whatever? And um, <coughs> excuse me, and um, and the angry Viking was just like, no, I don't, and. You know, you're just doing this and you're scaring the people and you said you were going to burn down this and that. Like, it's like he just want, it's like he's, it's like he's setting himself up to be the, the Yang, so to speak. He's, he's on, um, he's like Jin Grandmaster's J Yen to his Yang. You know, he, um, he wants to be on the opposite coin size of him. He wants Grandmaster J got his militia and Angry Viking got his people. It seemed like every time that Grandmaster J speaks something, Angry Viking is opposed of it. And I don't believe that I don't think that they're gonna ever come to a mutual terms. I think that Angry Viking wants to be his enemy. I think that he, he don't want to see eye to eye to him. I think that part of it is because drama sells and Angry Viking is a, he a businessman. You know, you know, you white boys, y'all smart. So, and he, he's a, he's a, um, a capitalist and he see the opportunity to make money and capitalize off of it. And nothing sells more than drama. So, yeah, he wants to be his enemy. And, you know, some part of me, because I don't think that he's truly a bad core, because I, I, I know some white guys, some hardcore core white guys who just stone core bad and to the shit and racist. And when I hear him talk and speak, I really don't think that he's really like that. You know what I mean? It's just that, um, unfortunately... A lot of his followers are, and he got those ideas and beliefs, so he got to go with it. But I believe that if him and Jay actually came down, sat down, and, and, and talked or whatever, and they both sat down, they talked about their view, different viewpoints and everything, and came down to a mutual understanding, I believe that he's a, a rational enough guy to, you know, understand the plight, understand the mission of NFAC. But like I said, capitalism he wants to make money he see opportunity he wants to be a leader he need he wants to make money but also he wants a following this is right now this is an opportunity for not just him but grandmaster jay and others like them who's who's who has a following who's a leader or something to to grow big um, it can be like some type of Charles Manson, like cult following. Like this is this is serious right now. Uh, this 2020, because of people, how emotional people are, and how our lives are affected by COVID and 
you know, lockdowns and everything, people are looking for somebody. People are looking for hope. People are looking for inspiration. And these type of people are, are somebody to gravitate towards. And they can use that for their personal gain, you know, good or bad. I'm not saying that Grandmaster J is doing that or whatever, but I'm just saying, like, it is what it is. But I believe that my man Stephen Dillon's uh, Angry Viking, I believe he is um, using this as a, um, a tool to grow his own, his foundation, his, his, his company, if you will. So um, that's just my take on it. But let me know what y'all think. Drop your comments down below, as always. And uh, give me your opinions. Do y'all believe that he needs to be on Grandmaster J Enemy to sell? Because violent sell, um, drama sells. Y'all know drama sells. Ain't no nice shit happening that's going to make a lot of money. So drop your comments down below. I may be wrong. I may be right. Whatever. Just let me know. Um, as always, hit that like button, help the channel grow, help the channel get past the YouTube algorithm so I can pop up in all y'all timelines and everybody else's timelines. So hit that bell, hit that um, bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload new content and we're going to do it like that and I'll holler at y'all the next one. Peace.